hi guys welcome to my second youtube vlog very excited this week's video is going to be a law student week in the life i figured um a week in the life would be better to film than um a day in my life just because personally when i watch vlogs i really do prefer the week in the life because it gives me like a real proper representation of how the whole week goes versus like what's typically a pre-planned day in the life where you want you obviously want to show the best version of yourself but i do want to show you guys like the ups and the downs of the weeks and what it's really like to be a law student in london so yeah this is what this video is going to be i'm starting this on monday but i'm currently in the tesco parking lot i'm gonna go grab a few things that i need before i go to uni tomorrow just like meal prep stuff because my challenge for this week is to not spend any money on food on takeout on coffees on starbucks on marches like no money will be going towards food whatsoever this week um, um just because so yeah i'm about to go in so i will take you guys with me driving at the moment i'm on my way to uni i just dropped off my little sister to school and my first class today starts at 10 a.m so at 10 today i've got what have i got today i think at 10 i've got e no not eu law okay at 10 a.m i've got equity and then at 12 p.m i've got eu law so they're both seminar and then i've got a pilates class book later so today is going to be a very chill day um, my main focus today is to get some applications drafted um some good news though last night i got an email saying that i got into an open day which i'm super excited about that application for the open day was definitely like the toughest open day application i did for the firm um but i got in and i'm super super happy i'm not up to much today um i do have my book the seven husbands of evelyn hugo it's a new one i really want to start reading that today so i'll probably get a start on that and then once i come home in the evening i can just get a work on any applications i have to do a mocker at home right a hazelnut mocker and my mockers are the best like starbucks haven't got anything on me my mockers are amazing and i left it at home and i left it at home and i'm so sad because i was so looking forward to drinking in the car now i'm like does that justify my excuse to like buy a coffee on campus or should i leave it part of me is like leave it so i think i'm just gonna leave it okay so here's the update i went to the main library didn't record any footage because the mezzanine was closed which is basically like a little balcony area that's quite like hidden away i usually go there but it was closed so i had to sit on the main floor in the middle of the floor where everyone could see so it's really hard to like whip out my camera because if any of you guys have a canon gx mark ii camera let me know please because every time i record the beeping sound comes on my equity seminar that went really well like i really did understand everything um so right now i'm just waiting for my eu seminar to start it starts in 50 minutes but i'm in the building it's meant to be in and i'm in like an empty seminar room don't know if i'm allowed to be here like i don't know maybe someone will walk in and tell me that i'm not allowed to but until then we're gonna hijack this room and we're gonna try to get some work done i have a couple of emails to send off and then i'll probably make a plan for equity and stuff okay quick update i am nearly done with all of my notes that i need for the seminar there's just a couple more topics that aren't in the textbook that they're going to ask questions on so i'm going to have to look them up but in the meantime i'm also going to have my bagel because right after my seminar i'm going to run out 
I'm gonna leave and go to Pilates after my seminar, so I figured I might as well have this now. Um, if I am hungry, I'll get food, but then again, I did challenge myself not to buy food. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna have this now. So basically what it is, it's avocados mashed up with onion salt, um, chili peppers, I got smoked salmon, got tomatoes, and it's an onion and chive bagel. bagel. It's the one from the New York bakery. This combo is elite, so I'm just gonna have this now. Still finishing my coffee. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So after my EU seminar, I went over to, I know I said we weren't going to spend any money, but I was very tempted to get a small salad from a cafe and an orange juice. So I had, I started reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So good. I am obsessed with this book already. I'm on page, um, okay, I'm on chapter 10 right now, just started chapter 10. It's amazing. Like there's so many points in the book so far where I'm like, oh, like I, it's actually it's such a good book. Like I'm so into it, but I can't read any more tonight. I actually have to put a cap on my reading now because I've got work to do. Later, I'm sorry that I haven't shown you guys much like study content. Like I know people do follow me for my aesthetic, like study content, like my time lapses and all of that. So I'm sorry I didn't make enough yet, but this is pretty early into the vlog. So there will definitely be some coming, especially tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be an all day study day at uni. So yeah, let's, let's get going. Good morning, 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 guys. Welcome to the next day. So today is Wednesday, I think. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Um, yeah, you guys already know my plan for today. So I just dropped off my sister's school. I'm so tired, I could literally fall asleep right now. Probably be at uni at about nine, probably just before nine. Uh, gonna go to the library, do some work, get up to my equity stuff, and then pop over to my meeting with my personal tutor to figure out how equity works because I'm still very very confused um tried to squeeze in some work this morning I woke up at five had my breakfast I had some oats and then did some equity work but then of course like one of my thingies as well like one of my goals this year as well was to like put effort into how I look and how I present myself because these past two years I've been coming into uni looking like a bum which is fine that's okay but for me personally I feel more confident and I feel my best when I do my hair do my makeup wear a nice outfit you know shower do my scents lotion my nails jewelry the whole works like that's when I feel most confident so yeah, I feel amazing I feel like today's gonna be an amazing day super positive super grateful that we woke up and we have another day so let's all be happy for the little things that we have in life to be grateful for I'm grateful for this drive I have my heating's on my favorite music is on there's so much stuff to be happy about so I try not to let little inconveniences get in my way um, so yeah right now I'm gonna probably crack open this Tenzing shot if you guys remember I think I mentioned it in my last vlog, I don't know if I did, but Tenzing is amazing. Tenzing, if you're watching this, please sponsor me, please, please, I beg you, I love you. I drink it all the time, half my money just goes to you <laughs> because it is amazing. It really just like gives you so much energy without the crush and like especially as a student, I need that. Like I don't take like Red Bull or Monster or like, you know, those really sugary energy drinks because first of all, the sugar content is too much and like i'm not too fussed about content but i feel like it gets to a point where like it's kind of a bit much you know i've had red bull only once in my life and that made me crash it gave me a raging headache the next day i could barely sleep it gave me nightmares like i don't know if that's normal but like it literally gave me nightmares um because it messed up my sleep so bad so these tenzing energy drinks because they're clean um so for example this is their new plant power shop I think it's new because I've never seen it before. It's black cherry, guarana and goji. And it's got black cherry, goji, green coffee, guarana, 
green tea, Himalayan rock salt, acerola, um, I was gonna say areola, <laughs> um, beet and fruit sugar, and it's really just clean energy and it's good for you and it doesn't make you crush and it gives you a nice little pick-me-up so i'm gonna have this now oh that's strong oh so, yeah i'm just gonna drive over now i hope that little talk was helpful to you guys um but yeah i'm gonna go now and just keep driving so i'll speak to you guys in a bit Hey guys, so I'm leading my camera in such an awkward position against my bottle, so if it falls, I'm sorry. Now, I just came out from the library, it's one, everything went smooth, meeting went smooth, understanding equity a lot more right now, um, which is great. I am starving, so hungry, I could actually eat myself. One thing about being on this uni campus is that you, when you're hungry here, it's not the normal type of hunger you feel when you're at home. It's like you want to eat yourself it's actually insane yeah so i just popped over to this little cafe looking i still have a lot of things left on my to-do list that need to be checked off i've done all my equity notes now which is fab but i still got to do a few problem questions just to probably like solidify my understanding and then i have to prepare some questions for a meeting i have later on this project that i'm working on which i'm super excited about and then i have to do like my readings and stuff for my intellectual property seminar tomorrow um and I have two lectures tomorrow as well. Mm -mm, I've got a busy day tomorrow. I'm enjoying the fresh air right now. I don't know, something about being, when you're doing a full on study day on campus, it gets very draining very quickly because you're stuck in one seat in like, you're not really in comfy clothes as well. Like, it's, well, you're not as comfy as you would be back if you were at your own house. You know, if you're like me and you don't prep your food and you're lazy or you forget, then it's just, it's even worse, especially when you don't live here and you commute. But it's fine, it's fine. Let's not focus on the negatives. But I am feeling so cute today. My outfit, I'm sorry guys, I know it's the same, but it's a vibe, it's actually a vibe. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait to, for my panini to finish heating up and then I'll go back to the library. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, hey besties, let's do a little bit of a catch up. So I know like the clips must have changed very drastically, but I'm done with the day, I'm done. I'm so exhausted, I'm so tired. It's now exactly 7 p.m. and I've left uni. I'm at the Starbucks near my house actually. I just came right on time actually because they close at seven and I literally came here five minutes before. A venti iced matcha latte with soy milk, white mocha, and chai and it is an elite combo when i tell you this beauty oh my god delicious man so good but today was an amazing day a long day a hard day a tiresome day but it was a very very long day i was going to get a venti cold brew as well with no ice because that's then about two cups and i could have made coffee at home and add like pumpkin i have some pumpkin cream at home so i could have added that in but they were out of cold brew so i can make coffee at home with my espresso because when i tell you guys i will be up late tonight i'm gonna be up very extremely late because i have a long night ahead of me let's break it down i did not get to do my ip readings because i was very busy and equity just took me a long time to get my head around which to be honest was poor planning on my part I really underestimated how much time it would take to get through equity 
I finished that about two. I started working on like other little, little stuff that I wanted to get straight off my to-do list, like applying for my student permit parking and all of that jazz. I'm in a very awkward position, aren't I? I'm in a very awkward position. And then my meeting that I had today for my project went amazing. I'm so, can't talk about it without going into like big smiles because I'm so happy. And I got like three pieces of amazing news today. I got into another open day that I applied for, which is really positive, like no rejections yet, knock on wood. Like that is like legit so good. And then my meeting went amazing and I got some really positive news from there. Let's get going. Good morning everybody welcome to day three now technically day two because it's the second full day i'm recording but it's wednesday so day three um yeah i didn't again get clips of this morning because i was in a rush i was in such a rush i did stay up quite late last night doing my readings i got quite into it i stayed up until like 1 a.m and yeah i just i was knackered got up this morning at four which you're probably thinking how are you running late if you got up at four my alarm was set for four i got up i did some more work and then i went back to bed then i woke up at seven my dad woke me up he was like haven't you got uni today at 9 a.m i was like crap so i got up did my hair which is looking so my hair is killing it these days like i really can't lie it's it's doing bits like it's really doing bits like it looks so good um but yeah i did my hair did my makeup i packed my bag so yeah let's go and let's have an excellent day and i hope that you guys watching this are in a great place as well honestly i love you guys like legit more than anything like the amount of can we talk about for a second the amount of instagram requests i get every day the majority of you like are so sweet and i'm honestly like i always say everything i have right now is literally because of you guys because without that platform i wouldn't be where i am like legit in terms of like having a second form of income like if we're being so transparent having another form of income you know having opportunities to live out my passion of like filming and editing because i've always loved filming and editing like i was always that person when i was younger with my like broke down iphone 6 or whatever i had at the time I think it was a Samsung to be honest. I remember Samsung S5. I used to film on that camera, like me doing like makeup videos. Like, hi guys, welcome to my makeup channel. I'm gonna show you guys how to do my makeup. And I used to just love it. I used to love filming. I love talking and I love sharing knowledge and information and especially knowledge and information that I wish I had when I was going into a certain stage. So to be able to share that with so many of you guys now and to know that it's actually benefiting you makes me more happier than anything in the world um so again if you guys do have any questions like one-on-one -on -one, reach out to me on instagram the link is down in my bio understood 90% of what was going on which is progress it's progress I don't know what you would call it like a cubicle pod thing I've got my work up I'm just preparing for my IP lecture which is at four and right now it's like two o'clock so I'm just preparing for that trying to get my head wrapped around it and then I'm 
think life's, it's basically like kombucha and it's strawberry peach flavor. Then. I feel like I look a little bit of a mess, but that's all good. Um, basically, I finished my... Let me put the camera here. This is so weird. Uh, okay, this is better. So I finished my equity lecture. It went well. Um, after that, I met up with a friend and we just started working on the formative for equity, which was amazing. Banged it out in two hours. Just about managed to plan every everything. So I'm going to have to do my research over the weekend and delve a bit more closer. But for now, I think I've got a really good foundation to write the essay off of. Um, so I'm super excited to write that out. Um, yeah, so I've got like one hour until my politics lecture. I'm already in the lecture room because nobody was here and it's empty. And I don't really feel like going all the way back into the library and just setting myself up again. So I might as well just get comfy here and just get started on a bit of work. I'm just going to keep editing this YouTube video. I keep taking out the SIM card and editing it. So... I've edited um, Monday till Thursday and half of today is just like the other half of today I have to film and then hopefully the YouTube video will be up by tomorrow and yeah I'm thinking um, well this weekend it's a study weekend so I'm comfy and I'm just gonna start doing some work I've just got some brand deal stuff to do I've got to do a voiceover for some TikTok videos and upload a reel on Instagram so yeah if you're not following my Instagram please go follow it <laughs> well 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 guys it is officially the end of the day i just finished my politics class which went really well but one of my main issues i'm having with politics right now is that the assignments are looking to be very difficult but we should get through them also please ignore this monster of a sweat i have on my forehead i'm getting them because i'm stressed out i've got one here one here i don't know part of me likes them like they add a little bit of character to my face with but yeah I'm happy. We made it through for the six. We made it through a very successful week. We had our ups, we had our downs, but we made it. So I really hope this video showed you guys an authentic week in the life. I will be doing more videos like this, but I feel like I can I do better when it's a um a day in the life video I found because one of the things I was going through in my mind was um when I was filming this video was oh I don't have to film this or should I oh I can't I'm in a rush oh it's fine I'm filming a week of my life anyways I'll, I'll film more content like as an excuse to film less content so I'm really sorry if this vlog seems very choppy in some parts um and I did say multiple times that I forgot to record certain parts of my morning or like certain parts of my day just because I was simply in a rush I feel like when I do day in the life vlogs I get through them a lot better because it's one full day you know dedicated to filming for youtube and i'm filming every single aspect of my day and it's less draining than filming a week in my life because during the whole week i'm having to bring my camera out and talk which i don't mind doing but it is very draining um so i think day in my life's i'm better suited for so i'll definitely be doing more day in the life's and like weekend in my life's guys but thank you for sticking through till the end i'm gonna go home well thinking about going to go do some shopping and just to get a couple of things to treat myself um i've had a very tough week and i've got a tough weekend ahead of me so let me just go get like a couple of makeup pieces and whatnot but yeah thank you guys for sticking towards the end i really do appreciate it as always my dms on instagram are open so slide through and shoot me a message if you have any questions or queries about doing a law degree in london and yeah give me a subscribe give me a subscribe like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and follow my tiktok and my instagram links will be down in the description box and yeah i will see you guys for a new video next week all right love you guys